This is Chuck Kong, and I'm currently working with Camera Austria for the city of Santa Monica. And next few videos, I think next three videos, I will introduce you to traditional Korean outfits. So, here you go. Here's the one, and here's the other one. So, through next three videos, I'll teach you how to make top, which is called chogori, and also this style of pants called Sapokbaji, and also the skirt called chima. So I will give you as detailed instruction as possible, and some parts are a little more difficult than the others. So, well, I'll try to explain it as well as I can. So let's start with the chogori today. And here we go. And thank you so much for watching the video. So we start from these scissors, smaller scissors to just clean up a little, and all the patterns cut out. It's gonna be two layers, so outer layer and inner layer. So there goes arm, and inside should be the fabric that you choose for inner layer. Um, this time I choose this black fabric, and another arm. There we go. And there's one for korum, which is the bow that you actually put to close your shirt and there goes the collar and both of the flaps for front and the back thread of course needle sometimes you need that and pins so you put the bodies first so it's front and the back and we're just gonna go over the top using sewing machine so we're just gonna put them together and go over just once or twice i also sometimes use zigzag patterns to make it more stable i'm i think that's what it does so i use that function but for now we're just gonna show you this and then we open it up and then we will put the arm to the right place so that part should be in the middle of the opening so just in my case I just fold them in half and then that fold middle crease should actually go to the fold in the front and back part and you just kind of line them up make sure to line them real good and then yes so the front of the fabric for all the patterns should actually meet up each other so front to front i mean if you're just using kind of like plain colored fabric it would not matter but this time it does so you go over and attach the arms like that well this time i run it twice so it's either that or it's zigzag so we're done with the arm and now it's time to flatten them down. So just like all the other things that I am making, I'm actually giving about a centimeter or a little less than half an inch of like edge of the fabric to actual line. And then I flatten them down. So when you put the outer layer and inner layer together it would fit beautifully and whatever you just did with the front layer um you are also doing it with your inner layer as well so after you're done with your outer layer and inner layer all sewn together front and back and arms you have to lay them down together and put them together so just casually like that arm goes where the arm goes front goes with front flaps and back goes with back and um sh put it together where you would like to see like the outside part like some outer layer parts so out to out and all the sewing parts should be hidden when we flip it so that's how you do it so line them up nicely and of course, 
Again, pins are our best friends. Don't you ever forget them. Line them up with pins. Otherwise, it's kind of going to be, well, hard to deal with. So we are going to so like the bottom part of both front and back and the opening of arms. So like the very outer line of arms together. So just put them together. And this time I kind of, I guess, cut it wrong. So I just decided to clean up and it's just easier for you to actually have a cleaner line. So I'm showing you the indication of where to So together. So there you go. Outside of arms and the bottom of the shirt. And also for front flap, um, you can have like the V side open up, but you can definitely close like majority of parts. You just have to not go anywhere other than that is indicated here. So yeah, those lines, you should put them together. The next part is kind of difficult. So if you have to go back and watch again. So we're going to kind of flip ish, but fold them together. So you actually open up your shirt, start it from your arm. So think about folding the arm part to inside and forming a shirt and all the fabric like outlines of the underarm should actually meet up with each other's and we did not close the body. So those line that goes with the body should still be available and open and you just kind of place them. So each corner and unfinished line should line up. So that was one part. And please do feel free to um, go back and look at it again. And I usually fold the outer layer fabric over the inner layer fabric when I do this, especially like for the arm openings. So fold it. So fold your arm and the outer flap part should actually go inside and kind of covered and neatly tucked and then lined up with the parts that you haven't sewed together. So the outer layer, and the outer, like two fabrics for outer layer should actually be put together while two inner layer fabric should actually also lined up together. So again, showing you guys how it should look like before we finish. Well, yes, before we start doing running our machine again. So just make sure everything lined up. And it shows yes, like two of the same fabrics together. And we're just gonna close everything except for the flap for the front top of the flat. So just make sure all the corners are met and also you done with it and then flipping it. Again, I know this is very confusing. It took me a while to realize how it should be done. So feel free to go back and check the last step. But the goal is to have a little or no trace of little you know, how it's put together, like cleaner out, like outside line. I think that's why we are flipping it. So pull everything out. Don't rush. And we have big enough hole for you to actually flip the shirt inside out and you just iron it. And we need color and also the bow part for this shirt. So while we are flipping it and taking care of your corners and lining up and using beautiful, beautiful ironing board and iron. We will also start preparing the other parts. So once you're done, 
it's time to make and work on all the other patterns for finishing up so this one actually goes around your collar so that's what it's gonna look like and those are four bows to actually close your shirt together so these in this video it shows as gray fabrics and I usually um, fold them in half and then iron it and then about a centimeter I would actually fold it inside and then iron it that way and you just kind of run the simple simple lines just one time all around make sure to fold all the folds in so it would not look gross once you're done with your bows then you line up your collar with the openings you had where we used to actually flip the shirt so lining up it's important so if you don't do it the shape of the shirt might change so just line it as good as you can I know it's sometimes a little weird but you're just gonna run it and again like from the edge of the fabric to actual sewing line it's about one centimeter which is little less than a inch and this time once you're done and secured you are just followed out the indication you had when you uh, iron it this first time and kind of iron it again to fit and usually I mean traditionally you would close this down with ladder stitch but well since this is for your bears we will just go run the simple stitch on top of it to actually close it down so line it up I don't know why I did not use pin on this one but it would have been really helpful if I pinned them down together it'd be less messy but gotta do what you gotta do and when I realized that it was already um yeah about this point I realized oh I should have just put them down with pin but hey you worked so again do a grand tour of just putting all the lines together and feel free to just go back if you mess it up a little bit because clearly I did this time so I was kind of going back and fix it up all right now it's the last part you're putting the bows together so the longer one goes to the top flap and the shorter one goes attached to the bottom so I go with the zigzag and attach it with that so longer one goes to the top and shorter one goes to the bottom and when you attach it for the first time it should actually um, toward the outside like more open position but you are actually running the machine one more time by yes folding it to look toward inner side so that this is how you're going to close your shirt anyways so again I know tiny little steps but these matters a lot when it comes to finishing so there you go we are done and I'm providing two different patterns for this bears so men's chogori tends to be a little longer and women's chogori tends to be a little shorter so as you can see one on the left is women's and the right is men's so there's definitely a difference between the length of the shirt itself but there you go